Morning guys, 4th of January 2021. Uh, I've got another, one more week off work so I'm going to concentrate on uh, cracking on with Betty. And just see what we get up to. It's cold again this morning but, uh, well, you can see that. Um, just see how we get on. It's supposed to warm up around lunchtime so I'm hoping, fingers crossed, I can get one of my windows in. Uh, the, the driver's side window above where the kitchen is. Hopefully, I just have to see how it goes, but uh, let you know. See you in a bit. So today's jobs, um, I'm going to wire in the 240 volt plug for the fridge um, and then connect it to the converter. And I'm also going to connect the converter permanently to the battery with some ring connectors. Um, and then I might have a look at where I'm going to put the control panel um, I'm not actually sure yet. If I'm putting it, I might put it at the corner of that shelf up there. Because you can um, switch things on as you come in the van and then it's just close enough to the bed to switch things off, but I'm not sure yet. Uh, one of the big jobs I'm hoping later on this afternoon, or at least during lunchtime, it's supposed to get a bit warmer. Because as you can see, it's still a bit nippy and that's why I've started it van, just to give it a bit of charge is cut that wind rate, or cut that panel out for the window but it um, depends how warm it is because uh, Sikaflex doesn't uh, cure well in um, cold weather but I'll let you know we get on, so I'll see you in a bit OK, so I've just wired the inverter now permanent to the battery so I can just plug stuff straight into that should I need it, like charging my drill battery or something and I've also uh, permanently connected two USB chargers above the bed and the shelf on the head over there, one there and one there. So they're now sorted. So I'm just starting to put the 240 sockets now. Um, this one's going to go under the bed and it's going to take the plug for the fridge. And I'm going to put another double on the other side of the kitchen um, just in case there's stuff I need to put in to use in the living space, but we'll see. It's, it's there anyway, it's not, it's not a problem, it's not taking up any room. Okay, just getting ready to wire the first double socket in. This um, other wire here will go through a hole in there to another double socket on that side. So I'll show you that as I'm going to do it. Right, that's the second socket underneath the sink top put in. All I've got to do now go back towards the electrics and put a plug on the other end of the wire and plug it into the inverter and then dry it out. Okay so I've wired the mains plug up to the inverter, um, I've plugged a small hair dryer, not mine obviously because I've no hair and let's just see if it works. Well that works, if I did have air, I could blow dry my hair from the inverter. Happy days! Let's just see what the inverter's doing. It's on 11.3 volts. Let's see what happens if I fast forward. Oh, well, that drops down, doesn't it? So, everyone's just going to have the head shaved. Yep, shaved heads all round, so no hair dryers allowed. <laughs> Please with it though, it works. Change of plans for today because I need to use the van tomorrow as a van because we're going up to Carlisle to enter the caravan because we're getting rid of it due to lockdown and cost and stuff. So I'm just going to fit the wind deflectors um, on the van. Well, they look a bit better. I'll we'll keep the windows open a bit while on the journey. What's that like? Yeah. Coming on now. I've done a couple of things this morning folks, um, I've done the 240 volt sockets and I've wired the plug into the inverter and I've wired the inverter into the battery. I've also connected permanently um, the two USB charging sockets underneath. I've also got the radio cord for the, the van radio because that, that sort of um, disappeared when the battery was disconnected. So that's sorted. Check the oil and water. Um, and I've topped up the washer bottle because tomorrow we're off to Carlisle to pack up the caravan because we are getting rid of it uh, as it's no longer viable for us financially and due to Covid we're not getting up there as often as we should so we need to shut it down 
so we need to advance her, bring all the stuff back that we got up there. So once again, thanks for watching our progress on Betty. Um, there'll be more on Wednesday, which will be the 6th of um, January. So because tomorrow we'll be up at Carlisle, but I will post something uh, from Carlisle tomorrow. Okay, take care. Uh, thanks for watching us. Subscribe, give us a like, give us a comment, whatever you feel like. All right, see you soon guys. Bye.